Hello friends, today we are going to study about how to construct a triangle when difference of two sides, one base angle, uh, one angle and one base side is given to you. So, whenever you are starting the sum, first you have to read the question and draw a rough figure with by yourself and try to mention all the things on that so that you get a rough idea what to do. Construct this is from exercise 11.2 NCRT question 2 construct a triangle ABC in which BC is equal to 8 centimeter angle B 45 degree and AB minus AC is equal to 3.5 now what we have to do look here they told us to construct a triangle ABC so I am going to make a rough figure ABC where BC 8 centimeter this will be 8 centimeter they told angle B 45 degree this will be 45 degree AB minus AC means the subtraction of AB minus AC is 3. So we have to see whether which side is greater. AB is greater and this small half you come to know AB minus AC. So always greater minus smaller is positive number. So that's why we come to know that. Why I am telling you this because if this side is smaller and this is greater at that time we have to use another method. In my next video I am going to the, explain that. Here this side is greater so same way what we had done in our first question that only we have to do so we are going to start by drawing the base side of 8 centimeter look here i am doing going to draw it with pen because you will not be able to see if i will draw it with so these are the two is yes, a Sorry, this will be B and this will be C and this is of 8 centimeter. Now they told you to construct B, uh, 45 degree angle B. So what we are going to do, we are going to prepare a 90 degree. Look here, I am going, look here. Uh, this is the arc. I am doing from this, you will get a 60 degree arc here. This will be of 60 degree. And this will be of 120 degree. Now the bisector of this will come here somewhere. Look here. And from bisector of 120. So this you will get your 90 degree. I am drawing it. So that you come to know. This will be your 90 degree. But we want 45. So this is 0. This is 60, this is 90 and this is 120. So you want to go between 90 and 60, That uh, sorry, 90 and 0. That will be the bisector of 0 and 90 will be 45. So we want to go there. So we will make an arc from the 90 point. It should be more than half. Look here. And we are going to make it from 0 also. Look here. I had made these two arcs. Now I have to draw a line. Mm, I am doing going to draw it with pen so that you come to know properly. So this will be our 45. I am extending it that I will you also have to extend it very far away. I will tell you at the last why you want to extend this. Now this is 45 degree. Now they told us some difference of this. What is the difference? 3.5 cm. So here also we have to make an arc of 3.5 cm that we are going to take it here. Look here. Uh, 3.5. Perfect. Perfectly this is 3.5. So I, I am going to make an arc of 3.5. This is our st third step. First step BC 8 cm. A ray making an angle of 45 degree. I am writing it here 45 degree. And then an arc of 3.5 cm. Give that point name D. Now join C to D. Now you have to draw the perpendicular bisector of C and D. It, the radius should be more than half of your side. And you have to draw it on both the side. On the upper side also. And on the lower side also. You can see I had made on both the side. I think you will not be able to see as I am using the 
look here I am drawing it with pen so that you come to know here I got an arc and here also I got an arc now I have to join it with the help of pencil and scale okay. now construct the perpendicular bisector where this perpendicular bisector intersect on this ray your that will point will be point A this point is point A now just to join A and C okay. now this is your required triangle A B C I am telling you the steps again one more time I am explaining first row line segment B C step 1 of 8 cm step 2 draw this ray you can give it bx also name making an angle of 45 degree with bc then cut an arc of radius 3.5 on bx and where it is intersecting give that point name d now join cd and draw the perpendicular bisector of cd where the perpendicular bisector on bx give this that point name a and join ac therefore now last therefore triangle abc is the required triangle thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much